Connect Teams workflows are the ultimate tool for you to manage your day-to-day -day processes, digitize paper forms and checklists, and streamline the flow of information from your deskless employees. The app has all your work forms in your employee's pocket. These workflows or digital forms can be used for a variety of purposes, such as read and sign forms for compliance, like the COVID-19 acknowledgement form, periodical checklists or inspections for beginning and end of shifts, ticketing and reporting systems, HR needs, request forms, and so much more. Anything that you and your employees have to manually fill can be added to the workflow feature to streamline and automate processes. Yes, even when you're out in the field. Now let's go over the steps of submitting a form as an employee. From the app's main feed, click on the Assets tab at the bottom. Scroll down to find the Workflow folder. Here I'm able to see all the workflows that have been published to me. By clicking into a workflow, I can start filling all the different inputs and answer all the questions while on the go. Whether it's text, date, location, multiple choice, images from a camera or gallery, yes or no questions, and even signatures. Once submitted, the relevant admins will be notified both on their app and in an email. Next, we will look at what this submission looks like from the manager standpoint and how to export the submitted report. The platform will automatically show you if there are any new entries that you haven't seen yet. As soon as you click into the specific workflow page, you will be able to view the general activity around the workflow and gather insights such as who submitted and who has yet to, and even export the list. To view the entries, click on the Show Entries button at the top. Here you'll be able to view all the workflow submissions made by your employees, go over the answers and inputs they gave, and even export it to send along to a client or any relevant third party. Creating a workflow is super easy too. Click on Add New at the top right corner of your screen. Here you have two options to get started. Start from scratch or start with one of our ready-made templates. When choosing templates, you can search based on your industry or the purpose of the workflow and even search for the name. Let's look at the workflow titled End of Job Report as a first example. We can take a look at the preview and select the template. Give the workflow a name so your employees know what it's about. And then you're at the creation page. On your left, you can see all your input or question types that are at your disposal. You can add as many of them as you want and use each type of question multiple times. In the middle is your working canvas where you control the order of your questions, edit and remove questions. On the right is the mobile preview, so you can see how your employees will be viewing the report on their mobile phone. To add a question to the workflow, simply click on the type of question you wish to add. When a new question is added, it is always at the bottom, but you can easily drag and drop it into its rightful place. When you are happy with your mobile preview, click on Save Changes. 
and turn to publishing this workflow to your employees. That covers all the basics to get started. In our next workflow video, we'll cover how to manage multiple entries, use the advanced filters, and oversee submissions from your mobile phone. Thanks for watching.